Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing pretty good myself. I've had a big day, gotten a lot of things achieved, gotten a lot of things accomplished, and we're continuing that theme right now with today's episode because I've got a fair few things I want to check off the list. So. We are going to be uh, gleaning up the quest log a wee bit, to say the least. So, the first thing we're going to be doing is finding the second location for the Ethereum shards. Now, that is going to be in Deep Folk Crossing from memory, and we are in the area, so we'll be looking to get that. Then, we're going to be moving on to Rhyme Rock Burrow to get the Rueful Axe with Barbus. And then from there, we're going to go to Solitude, do some more things. Then from there, go to Windhelm, do some more things. Then go to Winterhold, do some more things. And then hopefully by the end of the episode, we'll be wrapping up at the third location for these Ethereum shards. However, if you've been watching me up to this point, you know that uh, things don't always go according to plan. And as good as I try to plan it out, I'm nothing if not easily distracted so before we jump on our gregory the fourth i believe you are now we're just going to get some muffle going just for some easy levels here we are real quickly and now we're going to jump on gregory the fourth and we're going to be traveling to from memory it's about here i already put the custom uh the custom marker down so we wouldn't get confused with the other quests we've got going on because I got everything that I want to be doing so I don't forget in uh, uh, already activated in our quest log so yeah we'll be retrieving the rueful axe with Barbus we'll be going to solitude to continue the uh, grey cow uh, creation club content quest I believe we'll be asking Aldous for information about Angeline's daughter We'll be uh, doing the optional quest there as well for the Grey Cow. Then we'll be moving off to Windhelm to pick up the other thing for the Court Wizard in Riften. And then going to Winterhold to pick up the third and final thing for the Court Wizard. As well as buying more spell books because we are in dire need of some more spell books. That is for sure. And I believe that's all I've got planned or all that I've planned out to make sure we get accomplished. There will definitely be other things. I'll run past something and be like, oh, I want to do that. But for now, that's the game plan going forward. So from memory, this deep folk crossing isn't too far away. And I'm pretty sure it's uh, inhabited or at least accompanied by some pretty unsavory people, people that will attack us on site. But shouldn't be too much of a problem especially with our you know our good old Ilya who protects us from everything and I think that might be it there if you can see that little uh, structure up the back there kind of looks a little bit Dwemer I believe it's all the way up there now I believe also that once we get there Katria shall uh, make a little appearance, make ourselves known. Oh, we are so lucky that is not, if you guys heard that bear trap, we are lucky we are not traveling on foot. That would have been an instant death and an instantaneously upset Zarnov for the rest of the video. And I would have been, that would have, uh, that would have put me off a wee bit. I'm not going to lie. Just to, just to begin the episode like that, I would have been pretty, pretty off put for the rest of the episode. So, glad we are riding Gregory the Fourth. Got old trusty Gregory the Fourth. Got no idea what's happened to Gregory the Second. I'm pretty sure we broke Gregory the Third's legs in the last episode, so he's uh, no good for riding anymore. And yeah, we are here. Deep Folk Crossing. This is the structure I was talking about. And. Ah, oh, okay. There's no unsavory types here. I thought for certain we ran into a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of, I don't know, enemies, people that were angry at us. And I'm guessing maybe from what I'm seeing down there, Ilya and my other companions have, but, well, I think it's just Ilya actually. I got rid of the pets because they were annoying me. Yeah, I do remember that now. But yeah, I think they're down there. I think they did run into the people I was initially talking about. Maybe I, maybe it's that Forsworn encampment down there that I usually clear out on the way up here. I don't know. 
I don't know, but we're going to take this stuff. Hopefully it doesn't over-encumber us, and it doesn't. And we're going to take this, and where's Katria? There she is. Hmm. Beat me to it this time. Yeah, I did indeed. Well, you were very close, way. though. We're halfway there. An exact millisecond I'll behind me. Looking. See you soon. See you soon, Katria. And she's gone. Sweet. Now, we are chilly. Tell me something I don't know. And once again, I'm going to quickly... Just because we really need to start focusing on... And there's Ilya. We really need to start focusing on our level. Like, taking into consideration what our level is compared to everyone around us. And just how we're always getting our butt handed to us on a regular basis. So I really am going to be focusing or hammering down on getting some levels out in all the schools of magic. So when I can, Illusion's going to be getting smacked with Muffle. We'll be getting Alteration up with Stone Flesh. Conjuration up with the Flame Atronarch. And... Destruction's just going to do its own thing, and so does Restoration. We might, while we're at the College of Winterhold, we might pay for some levels, but we'll have to see. In any case, time to get some good old horsey riding finagling going and get to the Rufal Axe. And what have we got here? We have run into the other Orcish stronghold, Morkazgur. I think this is, like, the one stronghold I visit the least because I have very little memory of it or what we have to do to get inside so let's uh let's jump off here because we all know me time for a bit of a distraction sneak increase to 19 I don't know how but I'll take it open the gate let's see if anyone's gonna come get angry at us for being in here this is looking really dead it's looking really, really dead in here. Am I not supposed to be in here? Am I not allowed to be in here? What is going on? Sharamp, what are you going to say this to me? This is our stronghold. Leave. Okie dokie. Have you got anything else to say? Outlanders should learn to okay. not wander where they don't belong. Yeah, I probably should be a little bit more respectful, but I really want to see what's going on in here because I cannot remember for the life of me. Are you going to talk to me? Malakath blesses this land for the orcs. And the orcs alone. Cool. Are you going to say anything else? We won't kill All right. you, Outlander. But we don't want you here. Hey, at least I know I'm not welcome, hey? Um, will you at least talk to me? Who is Malakath? He is the Daedric Lord of the Orcs. The Keeper of the Sworn Oath and the Bloody Curse. We live by his code and follow his teachings. An Outlander like you wouldn't understand. I suppose not. I suppose Outlander not. should mind their own business. I suppose we should. I suppose we should. Who have I got to talk to to win your approval? Outsiders. Nothing but trouble. Hey, hey, I haven't done anything, okay? I haven't done anything to earn that kind of uh, what opinion. I wonder I if... You? Are they going to attack me if I'm in here? No. Where is the chief? Maybe the chief is the... I've already we spoken to you. you. And I we know. Don't want you here. I know. I know. You've made that very clear. I know Your I'm unwelcome. Muscles ripple when you work the forge. It's pleasing. <laughs> hey. Thank you, my chief. Ah, talking to her, not me. All right. Uh, what if I talk to you? Outsiders, nothing but trouble. Yes. Yes. So I've heard. Now. We don't know you. And, and we don't you don't want, you want here. me here. I'm tracking that. I'm tracking that. Who is the orc I've got to talk to to Malachi win your approval? Maybe you. It's not for you. Definitely got to be you, I feel like. You're the only we one I haven't talked you. to. You're the only one I haven't spoken to. Yes, I know. You're all very, very unwelcoming. I get it. You've no right okay. to be here. I, I, okay, I'm more. going. I'm going. Well, I'm leaving the long house anyway. Who can I talk to to win your approval? Can I just not? You have no business in our stronghold, Outland. <sighs> tracking. I'm tracking. I get it. Maybe there's like an out. Maybe this is why I never come here. Because <laughs> I don't know how to win their approval, I guess. What's up here? Is Do they have a... I'm pretty sure... Is this the Aura Calcum mine? Maybe? That's like... If that if it is, that is the absolute only memory I have of it. Morkas go mine. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm done exploring. I couldn't figure out how to win their approval. Maybe it's some quest outside of this that I have to activate and then come back to this or something. I don't know. If I remember, I will definitely look it up because I want to know how to be their bestest friend. Okie dokie, Gregory the Fourth. You're going to have to be real careful. You're going to have to be real careful coming down here. This is how Gregory the Third died. Oh my goodness, I thought I thought I almost just broke your legs there as well. And here looks like the entrance to Rhyme Rock Burrow. Okay, we're going to get off Gregory here. 
And boy, oh boy, did I think I almost lost you there, to be honest. That second fall, I'm surprised you didn't take damage, but I'm so glad you didn't. I thought you were dead for sure, and it was going to be a terrible walk back home for me. But you're alive and well. Now, pretty sure that's a little Thalmor outpost down there. Can't remember exactly that. But let's make our way into Rhyme Rock Barrow and see what all the fuss about oh. this little axe is about. Oh, the air is warm here. It certainly doesn't look that way, but I will take it because I hate, absolutely hate, being cold and the associated effects of being cold. Ooh, not welcoming, I see. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And let's... Do this a few more times just to get the conjuration up. I know it's not gonna be awfully good, you know, fire at your knock on fire at your knock, but uh, it'll have to do. Oh, there's more people up up there. Shouldn't have wasted all my magic I thought I had only one person to contend with. Oh well, we'll be fine because we've got Ilya. Now, that's Sebastian Lort. Hmm. Doesn't seem like he's nice, so we're gonna try and get rid of him. And. He is definitely a strong boy. Oh no. Gonna have to hope he does not target onto me because he looks like he's got some uh, pretty intensive magical pool, to be honest. And he has gone and locked onto me. So let's try and get out of his uh, his line of fire, Ilya. You, you've got this. When you're able. When you're able, get up there. I think if she takes the anger of the the aggro, sorry, of the Atronach, I might be able to get up there and do something to him. Because I feel like I can dodge these if I'm careful enough. If I'm careful enough, I can dodge these. And if I keep hitting him like this, I should be able to take away his magicka before he can keep hitting me. Oh! What if I do this? Oh, hasn't been long enough. Oh no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare keep hitting me with that. There you go. Almost gotcha. Now, are you the fella that had the daughter that uh, turned into the werewolf and that's why you're mad? Or something? Or are we picking it up from here and we got to use it on someone else? I can't remember exactly. Is Barba supposed to be here? Or when I sent him away, did that send him back to... I think that must have sent him back to the uh, original cabin where we found Clavica's vial in his little shrine. But this guy's uh, this guy's not too difficult. I'm gonna quick save here because that's some famous last words right there. But uh, he's not seeming to be too difficult, so we can definitely take him by ourselves, so long as Ilya doesn't go down and keeps that uh, that frost atronach. Um, keep keeps its attention. Hey, no, 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 no running away, no running away, no being annoying. Oh, he was just about to heal himself. None of that, my friend. None of that, Sebastian. You should have used this, my friend. When I was taking away all of your uh, magicka, you should have used that. Now, Ilya, there you are. Just in the Still nick of time. Here? I know, I know. And I need to trade some what things you with you. Carry? Let's have a look-see. Hopefully you can carry a little bit. Let's give you the Dwarven Sword. Let's give you... Yeah, we'll give you these, I think, because you can definitely use those, and I don't think that you using them will actually drain the uh, amount of power, or whatever you'd call it in them, the amount of energy, the soul gem chargedness, the charge. That's what I'm think. That's what I'm looking for. I don't. I don't think when they use it, it actually depletes the charge, which is very, very handy. Especially, yes, get some destruction up. Jk, we've already read it. It seems. Um, yeah, which is very, very handy. So hopefully she will start switching to those instead of the arrow, the bow and arrow. Ooh, yes, 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 please. Yes, 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 please. Yes, please, yes, please. Yes, please. Wow, this is quite the chest. My goodness, I will take all of it. Snowberries, coin purse. That, that chest was actually insane. That is... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's one of the best boss chests uh, we've come across, and that uh, that wasn't a, an awfully hard, <laughs> an awfully hard NPC we just had to deal with. So very very happy with that. In any case, 
Let's see if we can disenchant any of those things. I'm pretty sure we can. So we should get that going straight away. Yeah, disenchant this. And we'll disenchant this. And we will... Oh, but we can wear these, but we'll disenchant them. Oh, well. We have a goat and we have a living, breathing backpack to store all our stuff with. So conjure familiar. Take that. This is definitely going to over encumber us, I would say. Take the nightshade. Anything else? What is that in there? Pine thrush egg. Yeah, why not take it? Is this going to over encumber us? My bet is it may do. No, it has not. I love that. And now return to the shrine of Quavicus Vile with Barbus and the rueful axe. Where are you, Barbus? Yeah, when I sent when I told him to go away, I thought he was going to meet me here, but I guess not. I guess he went all the way back to the uh, the shrine of Quavicus Vile. I am actually very surprised. For the amount I've filled up my quest log, I'm actually surprised I am, like, remembering what I'm currently remembering in terms of what I've got to do, the order I've got to do it in, what quests we have active, so how I can try and do it efficiently. Like, to be honest, I feel, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm doing a decent job of remembering just, like, just what we have on, so what I can do in certain areas while I'm in that area, because obviously... If I wasn't in survival mode, I would just like laser beam in on a single quest line and just blip all, all over the map to kind of get it done, you know? But survival mode is adding in that extra challenge of me actually having to try and remain aware of what is going on here. Remind, remain aware of what is happening around us and uh, the quests we have on and yada, 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 how to do them efficiently. I'm not liking the looks of these people. They look pretty strong, but I, I really want to kill them. So they're bandits. Uh, might ride back a little bit, and hopefully Ilya comes up. There she is. Oh, she's already on to him. Go on, Ilya. Go on. And she's using the staffs, just like I hoped she would. So this is a vampire, it looks like. Well, let's get a astronaut out. So she's fighting a vampire. We've also got some bandits on us. We've also got... There's a lot of things going on. Gregory's running away and there's a vampire miss walker we've got a few things happening my gosh hopefully they kind of take care of each other Oop, looks like they took care of me instead hopefully the save wasn't too far back hopefully we got a save waiting for us just as i left that little cave and we do perfect <laughs> i was actually not expecting it to be that convenient i was expecting that to be rather painful hey friends we're back did you miss me I don't think so, but we're going to try and take care of these vampires before we get too far down and have to take care of these vampires as well, you know. Not biting off more than we can chew. I didn't even realize these vampires were here, to be honest. We just rode right past them and they uh, they were pretty hell-bent on making sure they caught up with us. Well, I think we're going to have to, Ilya. I think we're going to have to. Whether you think it's unfortunate or not, I don't know. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. That's... Uh, uh, that's a that's a one shot from you to me if I've ever seen it. One swing of that sword and I'm a dead boy. Now I'm pretty sure there was another vampire unless Ilya already uh, killed them. Pretty sure there was two two vampires looking at absolutely destroying us or did destroy us. Vampire dust, take it. Iron sword, pathetic. Pe -pe -pe. I spit on it. Um, okay, I guess only one vampire spawned in for this, for this interaction. Okay, uh, I'm going to quickly take that marker off while I can remember that it's on. And let's move a little bit further down here to where we had some of those unique looking bandits after us. Are they going to come back? Is that random interaction still going to happen? I kind of want it to, because they were like... The bandit chief, at least, looked unique. Looked as if he had something going on, but... Maybe he only activated because we had the... Volk's keg? Okay, so the bandit, so the bandits must have come from here. Maybe they activated because the vampires were out as well, so then they just came running. I don't know. I'm not sure. But, let's, uh, let's... Let's try and kill him. Now that we've bitten off a more bite-sized piece, or more chewable, more swallowable piece, I'm not... Where's the bandit chief at? Because he came absolutely horn towards us. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them take care of that, and I'm gonna try and take out the archer up here. No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Oh, that's why I have that. Oh, jeez. Come on, don't shoot me again. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I know you want to, but I'm gonna ask you to pause just for a second. And there we go. Now you're gonna die. Good stuff. No, please don't tell me they're angry at each other. Okay, what if I jump on top of them? If I jump on top of them, you can't kill them. No, no. No, do not kill my horse, please. Please don't kill my horse, Ilya. This is frustrating. Why is this happening? Stop it. Stop it now. What the heck, man? No, stop. I just want to loot these people. Don't you dare go running over there, Gregory. Stay there. Okay. Hopefully I can do this. There's a new Atronach. You don't need to fight all my friends, Ilya. No, you're still going to try and kill my horse. Okay, we need to get out of here before she actually kills you, Gregory. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, the frustration is real. Oh, well. No bandit chief that time. Not sure what happened to him. But we can't stick around to find out because otherwise Ilya will kill my horse and... Then she will be in the very, very, very bad books if she makes me start hoofing it with my feet from all the way out here, all the way to Solitude. And here we are arriving at Solitude. Hopefully, Ilya has, like, reset and she's no longer interested in killing Gregory the third, or the fourth, sorry now. Time will only tell. We'll see when she runs up here if she just starts attacking my poor horse. Please do not. Let's put that away. Good, 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 good. Please don't do that again, Ilya. If I had to walk all that way, I would have been very mad at you, and I would have had, I would have known exactly who I was going to use for that Bowethia quest. All right. Just so you know, that's a potential consequence of you pulling something like that again. Now, Majad, Razinda, and Matra. A piece of greeting to you too. Warm sense to you, my friend. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? What have you got for sale, Madran? Take a look. I will take a look. Now, what have I got to sell you? More like it. The answer is quite a bit from memory. I've got quite a bit of junk on me. So we'll sell you that. And did I go to the disenchantment table with this on me? I believe I did. And we, yeah, we've already got that enchantment. So I'll sell you that. Uh, what else can I sell you? We already have this. Sell you that. We already have this. Sell you that. Sell you that. Transaction value nine gold. Vendor has only eight. Tell you what, Madran, I'll let you get. I'll let you get away with it just this once. What have you got for us, actually? What have you got? You got anything we can use potentially? Anything of interest? I'm not expecting you to. I'll be honest, Madran. I'm not expecting you to, but. You know, can always have a uh, pleasant surprise. Hmm, yeah, you got nothing. May you got nothing. And you too, my friend, you too, Madran. So, such a pleasant, pleasant person to interact with. And my gosh, we really need to get on top of our food. I've kind of let the food, the whole food thing go by the wayside. Really need to get some ingredients and cook up some cabbage stews in a kitchen. Uh, so, who do we want to see first? Who's closer? Let's have a look-see on the little local map if we can. So, this one. Ask Aldous for information about Angeline's daughter. Okie dokie. Let's do that. Actually, first, is this the inn? The Winking Skeeper. Let's, uh, let's get some sleep. And let's do the age-old, we're about to sleep, so let's crack out the muffle. Hey, we all know the drill at this point. One more, bing, and talk. Welcome to the winking skeever, friend. I feel very welcomed. Hmm. Okay, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room. While you're doing That's that, fine. I'm gonna see what I can take for free, if at all anything. Please let me take some food. I need food very badly for some stews. Uh, not good. Not good so far. Do you at least have a stew pot somewhere? Do you at least have a stew pot somewhere? It's not looking like it. What is it? What kind of inn is this, hey? Where's your cook room? 
have n no idea who you are or why you sleep in here. I just have no idea of anything to do with the winking skeever, to be honest. Come on. Maybe it's downstairs. Is the kitchen downstairs? Surely. I think that's it in here. Yes. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Ah, uh, just some food. If you're looking to give any of that away for free. Doesn't seem like you are. Doesn't look like you got a kitchen here. Can I take these? No, I can take nothing. What kind of service is this? You're not letting me ransack your place. Oh, well. Thank you, Daiki. Maybe there's some stuff up here. That's Sorex, whoever that is. Again, I don't know. Actually, okay, while we're up here. We need to take every healing pot. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Thank you. Thank you for making that painless. When we can, we're going to try and take every little bit of... Um, oh, here. Look at all these uh, delicious things in your room that you can't actually eat. Whenever we can. Like right now. And if there's a minor healing or healing potion. Stuff that will take it anyway. We'll, uh, we'll end up taking them. Extreme Magicka will definitely take that. Because you can never get enough of them. And we run into situations where we need them all the time. And there's the level up I was waiting for. Now let's have a little snoozy poo. Yeah, about 8 o'clock. Let's do that. And... Okay. Let's do Magicka. Because I want to. We're going to start doing health though. Uh, I'm going to say from the next level onwards. Because we've done the last 27 levels in Magicka. Which means our base Magicka is at... Hmm, I think our base magic is at 373. Let that update. Guess not. I'm pretty sure our base magic should be at 373. How can I tell? Let's uh, let's take off all the clothes I'm wearing because I really do want to see my base magic. So let's take that off, even though that's not magic related. Take that off and take that off. Take that off. I want to see what our bases are at. So. And take that off. Okay, what's our base? So our base Magicka now is 385. Our stamina is 1. Yeah, great. So what... Uh, uh, didn't haven't I taken everything off? Why is my base Magicka... Why is that green? When it's green, doesn't that mean it's been fortified? So it's not our base Magicka? Do I just have extra Magicka from somewhere? From some active effect? Maybe? Um... Hmm. Yeah, got no idea. Got no idea. And why is our carry weight so down? What what happened when I just uh was it this? Did that increase my carry weight? Um hmm. Yeah, I've got no idea. Let's put that back on as well. Let's put the arts, ah, the backpack, of course. And let's put that on and that on. Hmm. So what is our magic right now with all that stuff? Four hundred. Okay, so I guess our base is three eighty five. I don't know why it was still green though. But it can't be three eighty five. That it had to be for I don't know, it had to be fortified by something. But our base is three seventy or three eighty, from what I can tell. So, that's pretty good. I'm going to say we'll start putting some points into health because we are still little marshmallows when it comes to our health. Have we got any food on us? Man, the distractions, the distractions, the distractions. We're going to have to... Oh, jeez. I have no business with you. Leave me. All good, all good. I'm not interested in any business with you anyway. Can we take this? Can we get away with taking this? Or he is focusing on us like nothing else let's uh come on here we go nothing to see here and i knocked it out where did it go and it's fallen out of the world go oh away. no it's just I have come back important things on my mind right now it keeps coming back and then falling out of the world we're just gonna leave it because it looks like it's gonna be painful to get seems there's always more seems that way my friend seems they that way town, right if you need a place to sleep, head over to the Winking Skeever. Keep a fine in. Yeah, I was just there. While we're here, actually, let's hit up some Radiant Raiment. See if they've got any good enchantment for stuff for us. Oh, that's very interesting, Nosta. That's very, very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Oh, what
Oh, let me just drop What have you got for sale? You. Yeah, you better drop everything Breaches, to help me. Gowns, Good stuff. Good customer really. service. Now, they usually at some points get some pretty dang good enchantments on certain things, but okay. No, 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 no. No. Hmm. Extravagant. Some good warmth on them, but no. No, no, no. Make sure I didn't miss anything. See, that's all right. That's okay. That's good. That's good. That's useless to me. No, no, no. Come on. Increases magic resistance by 15%. That ain't bad. That's uh, that's pretty decent to put on, to be honest. But I think our current one is giving us 50 points of extra health, which is probably better. But that ain't bad at all. Uh, health regen... Oh, that's pretty dang good. Health regenerates 30% faster, especially because we have zero health regeneration in uh, survival mode. But there's a certain thing... There's a certain thing I'm looking for. Wait, vagrant robes? Why are they... Why are they so much more warm than my regular robes? These uh, regular robes don't do anything for warmth. They're 27. That's why we're always finally. so cold. Oh, finally. Yeah, thank you. You were so pleasant to talk to as well. What have you got for me? Ooh. You've got something here for me, don't you? See, this is what happens if you're not polite. People take your stuff. Yep. People take your stuff. Maybe you should be I nicer in future and uh, your money talk, wouldn't... Um... She's the one who gets on with people. It's her one virtue, really. Wow, you are just terrible. Okay, well, you might say that was a waste of time. I say I took... Okay, I say we got 159 gold from a person who was less than pleasant, so I'm happy with the time invested there. Now, anyway, let's get on and talk to Aldous. Let's see about this Angeline's daughter and what's Soon, going on with her. I can almost taste it. Captain, Angela sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. I'm going to have to pay you, aren't I? I don't think my persuader intimidate is that high. Tell me about her daughter. That's an order, Captain. <laughs> I think Angela needs to know. Hang on. I really don't want to have to... Uh, let's. We've got a potion of glibness, don't we? Pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Plus 40 to speech craft for 60 seconds. That'll definitely get us by. But just in case it doesn't, just in case it's probably a bit of a waste for the potion of glibness, to be honest. But oh well, it's not like I was planning to use it anywhere else. Do I have. There we go. Amulet of Debella plus 15 speech craft. There is no way. Think they can best us. Captain they Angela asks, let's get this done quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No, only. I think Angela needs to know. I, I've been trying there to we find go. the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Dang. Ooh, that is uh, that is not good news to get. I'm just thinking I probably should have uh, I probably should have like saved and checked. I mean that's probably the more efficient way to do it instead of just guzzling down the potion of glibness. But hey, oh well, it is what it is. Who cares? Life goes on. It's not going to end. I've got heaps of money. What else was I going to use it for? All those things that make me feel better about wasting that potion. Let's just keep them rolling off the tongue. In any case, now... Ooh, Heard we've got the little the maniac. Dawn Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Yes, you and every other guard in this place has heard that. Crazy. You guys must talk or something. Now, we are going to get on with the Grey Cow quest, I believe it is. So we're going to open Erica's house. Surprised uh, this house so close to the... Uh, to the keep in solitude doesn't have a lock on the door but hey i'll take it uh immortal blood potion i'll take that too i'll take that too because why not that's a fair bit of money to not take 
And we need food, so we'll take these. We need food, so we'll take those. Hmm. I really... Uh, I, I want to take all the food, but I don't like everything being stolen because we are 110% going to have thugs sent after us. Even though we've done all this while in sneak, it will happen. It will happen. Mark my words. Um... Ooh. Are you going to tell me I shouldn't be here? You're definitely going to tell me I shouldn't be here. I feel like. So what is the actual objective? Let me just refresh my mind real quick. Because I remember there's an optional objective. And if I can do that, I definitely want to do that. So optional, investigate Erica's house. Steal the land deed from Gizli. Okay, so we are doing the optional objective by being in here. Oh, Ilya, please. Oh. Yes, get out of the way. Okay, we're going to go upstairs before he comes to see us. Because he just stood up. Hopefully, Ilya doesn't give us away. And not looking like she has. So if we don't do this optional objective, where is the other objective? Tell Angelina about what Aldous said. Still landy from Gizli. Where's Gizli? I'm not sure, but let's do the optional objective. So from here, letter to Gizli. Let's read it. Optional persuade or purchase the deed from Gizli. Okay. So... Construction on the port east of Jahanna or Yahanna has been approved and will begin once the transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should suffice as the head of the Iceblade clan has long been absent and the mother has taken ill. Per your brother's instruction, the deed is enclosed with this letter sending the boy to Riften before he's old enough to grasp what happened. Here's a good idea. Not the orphanage, though. It's best he live in comfort lest he suspect our motives. Still, it's a dangerous gambit, made more complicated should the rightful heir return. Your brother would kill me for saying this, but if you have but if you have the chance, it may be worth selling the venture for the right price. This has been more trouble than it's worth. M. Let's take that, because it's a little bit of uh, extra knowledge for us. Let's see what they got in this little chest at the foot of their bed. We'll take those. I don't like stealing, but uh, sometimes I just steal. How about that? It is what it is. Uh, if we make potions with stuff like this and we steal it, does the potion count as stolen? Or is it because it's a separate thing, a separate item, it's not counted as stolen? I don't know. Uh, we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. Let's, uh, let's just run around freely now and see if this guy gets angry at us for being in here. I don't even know who this guy is. Oh, but they got a stew pot. Might use that real quick. Um, so they got a cabbage. Um, they got a coin purse. Okay, let's see if I can make anything. I don't think I can because I don't have any salt piles. Oh, cabbage soup. Okay, I've got one salt pile and one cabbage. Perfect. Oh, we're set. We're set, team. We are set for... We're set for like the next five minutes before our guy is starving and dying. <laughs> uh, do we have anything we can disenchant? I don't think we do. Nope, good. And I'm pretty sure while we're here, we'll empty out Ilya's inventory as well. Because I'm pretty sure she's carrying a fair bit of stuff for us right now. Actually, we'll see if she has any enchanted stuff right now. Back. If we need to disenchant anything. Dis I need to trade to some things with you. You don't have... We've already got that enchantment. And you need to carry those. I'm going to leave those with you. You lead, I'll follow. I sure will. And you're the dude that was in the house. Who are you? Seville Stentor has a ah. grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. I'm a Breton, and I've got a good grasp of magic, at least for right now. Meloran, no who doubt are most you? Most folk in Skyrim consider the dragons terrifying. I find them wondrous. I agree with you, but you some of that dialogue. Uh, thank you. I am leaving. Uh, not that I needed your permission to. Oh well. Um, what was I going to say before he so rudely assumed that I needed his, um, permission to leave? Sorry, just trying to think, just trying to remember something. Don't really want you chatting away in my ear. Uh, what was I going to say? Can't remember it now. Thank you. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, getting pretty sick of people just yelling in my ear. Where is this? Are they both outside? I don't know where they are. Are they on the local map? Let's have a look-see. Uh, where are you? Um, yeah. 
You're not back in Erica's house. You must, both of you must be out here though. It, the quest markers are being a little bit uh, annoying. That's not actually showing me where Gizly is. And it's going to be back on that door, isn't it? Yep. But hopefully that'll like reload the cells and we can find Gizly. We'll actually have the exact location of Gizly. Yeah, there we go. So she's in here. There we are. Radiant Raymond. Let me know if you see anything you like. Oh, it's your sister. Apparently, she's more pleasant to talk to. Gizly. Hello, I'm Gizly. Oh, this is you your call sister. But you can just sister. Everyone does. Okay, Gizly. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Erica's world. So, Erica is your brother? Yes, my older brother, and the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. Jeez, you guys but have really, got some demons Torek's to deal death, with. Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. You guys have some issues that you need to sit down and talk. You need to talk them out. I'm not the person to do that with, but uh, I think I'm qualified enough at least to say that there's something there that needs to be discussed. Uh, that doesn't seem like a good attitude. Oh, if you're looking for a good attitude, go see the bards. They'll fake it for you if nothing else. Ooh. If you're looking for truth instead... See Noster. He's a good example of what life has to offer. And if you're just looking to feel good, go get some spiced wine from Yvette. But whatever you do, just leave me alone. Wowza, you seem to be like you're stuck in a bit of a bit of a rut in life. You need to you need to find someone who's excuse me. We're trying to have a conversation here. It might be your store, and we might be behind the counter. But I guess we're actually the rude ones here, so I'll stop talking because we're where we shouldn't be. I know what your people did to Johanna. It would seem so. It would seem so, yes. Hmm, probably should have saved the Potion of Glibness for now because, oh boy, oh boy, do I not want to spend 8,000 gold on this. Hmm, now, let's back out of this. I really need every little bit of help I can get because I don't want to spend 8,000 gold. Oh man, should I have not used up the potion of glibness on that what other potions do i have do i have another potion of glibness did i steal one i feel like i stole one no it was a potion of haggling dang um please anything that will help me uh no 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 speak again later if we must we must speak right Hello, now i'm gizly i still but you know can just call me erica's sister okay everyone does yep i still know what your people did to johanna it would seem, it so. Would seem so please work Please. Nah, oh. I don't think so. Can I just pick puff it off you? Okay, I can. That is that is going to be what we have to do because whew, I am not spending oh, 8,000 gold. What a light. I refuse. Do I have a potion of pickpocket? I have all these potions. I've had them in the past. Whether I've got them on me right now, though, is the question... And it's not looking like I do. So it looks like we're going to be safe scumming just a little bit. Tari. Why, hello. Here to buy. If you have Aww. to ask the price, you might be in the wrong store. Well, at least you are a little bit more pleasant to talk to. What have you got for Let's sale? Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Now, you... Yeah, it looks like you got the exact same inventory as your sister. Yeah. Oh, what's that? I've already, I've already been wowed by that before. Um, yeah, yeah, you do. You've got the same inventory. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for being nicer than your sister. Now, let's go hidden. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, hope I knew not it was going to happen. My pocket. Not at all. Not at all. Who do you think I am, hey? Some kind of little scumbag or something? I would never do such a thing. Let me just pick your pocket real quick. Oh, 29% steal. We're just going to have to go for it. Never should have come here. I probably shouldn't have. Stop right there. Nope. I submit. Take me. I'd rather die than go to prison. And let's load back. Sorry. We're going to just have to save scum this. There's... No way I'm paying 8,000 gold. No I probably could afford a septum or two. I do have a lot of septums, but after all this time, I am not going to let... Oh, I suppose we have 18,000. No, still no. I want all the money. All the money's mine. Take. Never should have come. I probably shouldn't have come here. You're right. Come on. 
Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. 29% to steal and third time is the charm. Let's see it. 56% to steal now for some reason. I'll take it. Let's go. Bang. Oh. Ooh. And we got it. We're not going to get greedy. We're going to leave all that behind. Placed forge deed on the dresser. Hmm. Okay, okay. Is there anything else we have to do on solitude while I'm here? Uh... Place the forge deed on the dresser. Okie dokie. So I do have to go in there. And, and we have to tell Angeline what Captain Aldous said. See, this is good. We're getting stuff done. We're ticking things off the list. And it's happening organically. Give a holler if you have any questions. I shall. I bet this is like a potion. No, nah, okay. It's another potion of haggling. I was about to say, I bet this is a potion of glibness or something right here. Uh, another potion of haggling. Hmm. We're about to use these on you. I'm going to take that as well. Actually, I should... Oh. If I just... I bet. I bet if I become her friend right now by telling it's her this, I'll be able to take all this stuff news. for free. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Angela, Miss... Mrs. Morad, your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Now, are we friends? We are friends. Sorry to give you that, uh, that I terrible hope news. I parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. Oh, you're so nice. Okay, let's take all your stuff. But man, you're nice. But we're going to take all your stuff. But you're so nice. But we're going to still take all your stuff. But man, you're nice. I almost don't want to... I feel bad for stealing ah, the stuff before. Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? No, no. Quite all right. Quite all right. Just, uh taking everything that you will allow me to take for free you know the drill i'm sure yeah no this must be just a thing that i do i guess how crazy Ooh, ooh. maybe if i just get behind here and take oh yep take ooh. oh you didn't catch me did you you were very very close but you didn't get me okay okay anything else we'll take the glow dust um Search sack, take the apples, take the minor healing, always going to need it. And can we, uh, s sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Need gonna, something for a potion? Going to take the garlic, certainly in the right take the place. dried elves ear. I know we're in the right place. Uh, I'm finding that out very quickly that this is a very good place. Let's take all your food, all your apples. Oh, being friends with you is actually quite, uh, quite profitable, to be honest. I'm not minding it. What have you got downstairs? We'll just take everything you got. Surely there's like a little food place out in Nern Root. Yeah, take it, take it all. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take the apples. Take the food. Potato, baked potatoes. Search chests. Take the gold. Take the garlic. Oh man, you have got a lot of food for us, don't you? You are such... A good host, and I'm carrying too much to be able to run. All good. I'm going to eat a lot of it. Take the bread, bread, tomato, 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 tomato. And now let's eat a lot of it to get our hunger up. So let's eat the baked potatoes. Let's eat the cheeses. And how's that looking? Still not good. Let's keep going. Let's eat... What's the heaviest stuff? The cheese is the heaviest stuff. Sweet rolls now. Seared slaughter fish. Let's go into tomatoes. How's our hunger looking? Yeah, that's decent enough. That's good enough. We're not dying immediately, like usual. Uh, ooh, what is this potion? No. Let's see here. Potion of haggling. Take it while she's down there. Potion of healing. Take it while she's down there. Oh, she almost back up here. Oh, I just clicked, but I was like slightly off, so she didn't catch me. Oh, that could have been terrible. Quick save here, because that would have been awful after all that we just took and all that we just did. 
it would have been quite annoying to get a little bounty and have to load back or come clean and have everyone uh, have them arrest us and take all our stolen goods because I think we probably are carrying a fair few stolen goods at this point even though that's not something that I particularly like to do it's just kind of oh pardon me it has just kind of happened organically Derivin or Derivivin or Devererin or whatever your name was I didn't see the subtitle but I know who you are and we will get to you eventually don't worry we'll have you reunited with your old friend Probably toward, a little while from now. I don't see myself doing it immediately, but it'll happen, I'm sure. I'm sure the reward for doing it is just too good. Now, uh, anything I can disenchant, pretty sure I checked, but never can uh, be too careful. Nothing. Ooh. Potion of minor healing, plentiful magicka, ultimate magicka, ultimate stamina, vigorous stamina, whatever it was. All good to take, all good to take, and that will do for now. Leave that stuff. What? Mm. Garlic. Nah, uh, nah. We've we've done enough stealing, but that'll change as soon as I feel like I want to steal something else, <laughs> for sure. But for now, we've done enough stealing. Ilya, please, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, we can get through here. I know we can. I guess we can't. I guess we can't get through there. But now we've got to check a barrel for further instructions for this whole grey cow business. Where is it? I'm pretty sure from memory in the quest log, it said it was behind the winking skiva from memory. And it's going to make us go back in there because it wants us to go out a specific door. My golly gosh, is that absolutely annoying. Oh, come on, and back out this door, yep, so we're back out the door, and now the quest marker will update, yep, wow, they need to fix that, they won't, but they needed to, in one of the versions you'd think Bethesda would have, but I guess that's the charm of Skyrim, really, really considering getting the uh, unofficial patch, but also don't want to. I want to get the achievements and all that kind of stuff. Because as I said, like I've on PC, I don't have the achievements because I never played an unmodded game on PC or since Xbox 360. I've always modded it. So once I got the Xbox One, modded it, X uh, and then PC modded it. Never really got the achievements. But I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. It's almost like I was jumping past you and not even talking to you. But um. And now I forget the thought. Oh, well. Search the barrel. Stranger's final instructions. Let's have a little readsy. So. What is the name of it? Stranger's final instructions. Handy. You're good. You picked her pockets clean and made the switch. Now you'll need to put those skills to, to the test and more. In Silverdrift Lair is a tomb that houses an ancient Nord clan. Near a large chest is a corpse with a lantern. Its candle still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find the sword that can raise the dead. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the grey fox in Riften. It's a small unmarked headstone in the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task and maybe you'll even get to meet him. A stranger. Thank you. Thank you, stranger, who is leading me on this little... Ilya, please. Who is leading me on this little... Uh, no, no. See you later. But that does remind me, Ilya is carrying stuff that we need to sell, and we got some stuff that we need to sell. Me. Please stop yelling in my ear when I've got a thought. <laughs> Okie dokie. Next thing on the list is to travel to Windhelm, I believe. Just gonna quickly take a second to think because I do not want to leave this place and have other stuff that I need to do. And you, I'm gonna jump on top of you and you're gonna ride down here just to keep it really fresh that you are indeed my horse and you should be traveling with me when i travel by carriage because it is so annoying when that doesn't happen so we've done everything for angelina got information about her daughter we did everything for the gray cow i believe that's everything now let's go to windhelm talk to Theo. i'd like to hire your carriage good Where sir do you want to go I believe Windhelm would be a great place to go. 
a terrible place to go for my character, actually, because I'm about to get the chilly willies, the cold icy toesies, the toesy popsicle thingies, gonna be cold, basically, is what I'm trying to say, and he is going to die on me again. Hopefully in the city, even though it wouldn't make sense if it did, hopefully in the city it says it will be warmer, or it should be warmer, and it's looking like the game has crashed on me. Perfecto mundo. Okie dokie. Quick sec to fix this, I think. And thank goodness before we... Uh, uh, before the crash happened, there was an autosave just outside Solitude. That is very fortunate. I would have lost my Nana if we had to do everything we just did again. And here we are making our way into Windhelm, but that game crash is case in point as to why I want the unofficial patch or why I would love the unofficial patch. Whether that would have prevented it or not, I don't know, but it would prevent things like that, I feel, in future. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Well, they seem terrible. Do you hate oh. the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No, not at all, not at all. No, I don't hate your people. You've come to I like all people. City, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Look like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Terrible people. Terrible, terrible people. I do not at all condone what they're doing to you. Safe travel. Because you seem like a decent person. Uh, just trying to live your life and they make life hard for you. But unfortunately, more. that's how people are in the world. Thank you, Nurin. No I don't even know you, but I'm glad to know that you would travel more if the soldiers didn't make things terrible. My goodness, so many people talking. Oops. Did you look behind the forge? I think I saw it there. Oh, yes. Now that you mention it, I think. Sorry about that. Ooh. Ooh. Accusing people of things they haven't done, it would seem. Now, great. I'm right behind you. I need to trade some things with you. What do you want me to carry? We're gonna take. We're gonna keep this. I don't want to sell it, but we will take this off you and this off you because you're using the war axe. It looks like, even though I don't want you to be using any of that stuff, I want you to be using these things. But it's all good. Um, okay. Yeah, that's everything you got. Now let's see what Everyone you will take from us. Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm sorry, but you're not you're not tracking very well because I think this is the first time I've ever come to you to use you and take a look. I've got to say I don't even know who you are. As <laughs> this is the first time I think I've ever had to use you ever in any Skyrim playthrough. But we'll say you're the Dwarven Sword. Um, we'll say you're the Steel Mace. And, oh, you don't want much else, do you? We'll sell you these ingots because we're not going to use them. Ooh, do I want to keep those for a later date? The answer is no. We'll just get rid of them. We'll be able to get plenty more ebony ore. Uh, we could smelt it and get more for it in ingot form, but I don't care. We've got plenty of money. Uh, moonstone ore, let's get rid of it. Or calcum ore, let's get rid of it. Refined moonstone, let's get rid of it. Madness ore, we'll find some more. Get rid of it. Um, Amber, we'll find some more. Get rid of it. Keep the bear pelts for that thing happening in Iverstead. And anything else I want to sell you not looking like it. Sweet. We are making a ton of money. 
Come see me. In fact, I'm glad you're Okie dokie. No I'll more of that fine. dialogue. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort And we'll take that soul gem. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll I can <coughs> just <coughs> You see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. No. Oh. If there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. You sound just a little bit sick. Anyway, Quintus Naval, what have you got to say? The master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Why do you work for Neurolion? Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... he's not the best teacher, but I don't just watching him, loiterers. I've learned so much. That's what you're Okay, you got nothing right, from then. you. Maybe I get it from you. You rely on. I'm so close to the answer. What were you arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. If you tell me where it is, I can get it for you. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. <laughs> Kural Mill was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Gosh, all he wants is the best for you. You'd think you'd be able to see past that in spite of your own interests. Oh well. Why is the file so important to you? I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contain but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the aid, it seems, have chosen me for their amusement. <laughs> for in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. What is the White File? A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Well, how about that? Looks like we've got a Why little thing... Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file, you fool! Right, I don't want to do anything for you, but I'm going to do it just Quintus, because I like quests. Now, let's have a quick little uh, look at where that quest would land us. The white file, retrieve the white file. Hmm, he said it's to the west, so it would be over here. Yep, retrieve the white file. What's this here? Obtain the ancestral sword. Where is that coming from? What? The Ancestral Sword. Oh, that's from the uh, Grey Cow quest. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, that's pretty handy. When we go for this to finish off the Grey Cow quest, uh, we'll hit this as well. We'll do both of these because they're both really, really close to each other. And I don't think either of them will take super long. At least that is the hope. Probably wishful thinking, but <laughs> oh well is what it is. Now, let's head off to the College of Winterhold. And there's an enchanting table out the back. I lost my twin sister a while back. 
Ooh. Uh, Ooh, oh, I don't know how to relate with you on that one. Apologies. Now, we're going to catch the carriage to Winterhold and pick up this final thing for the court wizard in Riften. And then we're going to hit up Winterhold for sure because we are... We're tracking quite well in terms of our magic. Watch the magic. Watch that muffle spell. It's super dangerous. Because uh, we're tracking quite well in terms of our magic skills. So we should have some way better spells to choose from, which is also why I've been absolutely uh, hoarding gold septums at this point. Now, are you my horse? No. I thought Gregory the second or whoever he was would come back. Here. I don't. I've lost. I've lost track of the Gregories. All I know is that you're Gregory the fourth. And please, please come with me to Winterhold. Alferen, I'd like to hire your Where carriage. Do you want to go? I would like to go to Winterhold. Climb on back and we'll be off. I shall climb on back and we shall be off. And you definitely better come to Winterhold. Because literally trying to leave Winterhold without a horse is dang near a death sentence every time. It is so difficult to make my way out of that place without a horse. And you came. Thank you so much. Now, let's go in here to get the final thing for this court wizard. And it's just in here, over with uh, Nalakar, I think his name is. Joe King, it's out here. The Oracle Kamingit. I could have just gotten that. I could have gone to someone else and just bought that. Why did I need to get you that one? Uh, have you got anything My to say? My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. I can understand why. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. What have you got for sale? So you wish to master the arcane arts? I just have never asked you, and I think I can sell some stuff to you, probably. Uh, increases your magic by 10 points. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use that. We'll keep that for now. Uh, we will sell you that, because I'm going to put the gold amulet back on. Uh, we'll sell you that, because I don't need it. Yeah, whatever. You can... You've just... You've made some money there, buddy. Okay, okay, that's all you got. Do you have any... You might have some stuff for us. Potentially. Foul zombie. Summons a foul zombie for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. So I've got conjure zombie. Foul zombie. That must be a more powerful zombie, I'm guessing. But I'm not going to take the risk just yet and buy it. I'll rather go up to the uh, College of Winterhold. Yeah, you don't have too much, do you? Looks like I'm going to have to go up to the College of Winterhold to buy some stuff. Do you have anything here for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just leave, right, it I'll we'll just leave it for now. I'll just leave it for now. Actually, speak quickly. you're with the College? No. Gods, no. Not for years. I left Winterhold for some time and returned to stay here at the inn. Why would you live here at the inn? I still have research that keeps me busy. And being here in Winterhold ensures I have access to former colleagues. Logical. Very logical. Okie mm -hmm. dokie. Nothing suspicious going on here. We're just going to buy some food. If there's anything you need, what have you got for sale? I, I, I'm for in dire need of some food. Food for the hungry. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. So, apple pie. Yep. Uh, cooked beef. Yep. Brooked bass. Yep. Hawker loaf. Yep. Rabbit haunch. Yep. And that's everything. Cool, cool. So you made some money, and we're no longer going to be complaining because our tummies are sore. So let's get that cooked beef. There we go. All right, then. Surely. Yeah, that's good enough. What are you doing in here, Quarineer? What the heck? You must excuse me. I shouldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah, you, sh you shouldn't. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> What are you, what the, <laughs> is this where he comes when he leaves the College of Winterhold? I have never seen this before. You must excuse me. I shouldn't be here. Uh, Okie dokie. Alrighty then. Um, <laughs> that is so strange. I'm going to go back in just to see if he's still in there or if it loads. No, okay. He's, did any, has anyone else seen him come here after he leaves the College of Winterhold? This is so strange to me. I've never seen it. Okay. Fair enough. I guess this is where he where he goes before he like teleports in or teleports away. He just likes to chill in the inn. 
Uh, we definitely need some some sleepy, some sleepy buyers. Oh, there is so much maintenance in survival mode. So much maintenance. So many things you have to keep on your mind that you just never even ha never even crosses your mind in the vanilla game, the complete vanilla game without survival mode. As I've said before, like I'm enjoying it, but boy oh golly oh gosh oh gosh, man. There is a lot to continuously have to think about, but I am enjoying it. Uh, contrary to what I've been saying quite regularly, I do actually enjoy it. Let's uh, let's see if they're in here. Hopefully they're all in here. I don't think they will be though, because it is only 4 o'clock, so we'll have to wait some time. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I think we should be good for a little while now, at least. Can we take these? No. They say knowledge is its own reward. You are just who I'm looking for. Okay, okay, Drevis. Illusion really is the least appreciated of the schools of magic. Easiest to learn as well with the good old muffle spell. What have you got for sale? Now, there should be a good Fenrix. Welcome. Caster becomes invisible and can open locks with l level expert and below for five seconds. Activating an object or attacking will break the spell. Wowza. Caster becomes invisible and can open locks with expert, with level expert and below for five seconds. That is insane. I will take it. I don't know if I'm going to use it all the time because I want some like levels from lock picking, but geez, invisibility again, that is also a very good spell. We'll take it. Muffle already have it. Aurum's Aquatic Escape. Caster is invisible for 15 seconds. Activating an object or attacking will break the spell. Can breathe water for 15 seconds. Improved night vision for 15 seconds. Okie dokie. Um, I can't see myself necessarily using that, but we'll take it. Because we can, and I want to use some of the new spells. Uh, creatures and people up to level 20 won't fight for 60 seconds. That could be pretty good. Courage. Target won't flee for 60 seconds and get some extra health and stamina. Uh, creatures and people up to level 20 won't fight for 60 seconds. Yeah, okay. That could be really good. Targets won't flee for 60 seconds and get extra health and stamina. So that'll be the uh, better version of courage for us. And route creatures and people up to level 20 flee from combat for 30 seconds. That could also be extremely useful. Wow. All these can be extremely useful and it's really draining our gold. Wowza. Oh, oh golly. Oh gosh. Oh man. Hopefully I didn't underestimate how much gold we're going to need. We should be okay. I feel like we should be okay because we we have some stuff that we can sell back at least. Yeah, so we'll sell that. Um, anything else? I don't think we have that much that we can sell back. <laughs> Dang. Um, okay. Yeah, well, we are bound to be hitting up. I think after we complete the Lost to the Ages uh, quest, for all of you who know the... Uh, the reward we'll get for it after we do that we will uh, probably hit up the enchanting pretty hard and other things take the apples yes yum 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 can we sleep okay we need to sleep for sure is this our room i thought this is where all the uh i guess this is our room i thought we slept in the other place or maybe this is just like a spare room that they have i don't know but yeah i'm pretty sure our dedicated room is over in the other over in the other place, but we'll sleep here for now. Uh, let's sleep eight hours, because then hopefully everyone we need will be in here. So we've slept. We're nice and awake. Yep, Mirabelle just as I suspected. Okay, dokie, we'll wait for you Still, to jump all the way in bed, room. but we're just gonna have to get you all the way back out of bed. Sorry for I all that. I can't wait to see who succeeds, Mirabelle. I've no doubt she'll be promoted to Archmage at some point. What have you got for sale? Take a look. I shall take a look. Uh, you should have some really good stuff for us, I would think. Yeah, really, really good stuff for us. So we have, what do we have? We had Elemental Flare. 
and then elemental bolt and this is elemental burst so an elemental explosion for 46 points of fire damage 46 points of shock damage and half of that and half as much damage to stamina wow lots and lots of damage i'm gonna guess that's an expert level spell we will take it uh what else have we got a fire explosion for 50 points of damage in a 15 foot radius targets on fire take extra damage that's 50 points compared to what was it like 46 and 46 and that's also doing shock damage to damaging magicka and it's also uh, damaging their stamina it's just some of these vanilla spells i just feel like they're not worth it and i mean i could still buy it but i really do want to try out the um the the uh creation club spells because they they just seem so cool so hangman's noose that's definitely new absorb 26 points of health per second from target for three seconds so that's definitely the uh next level up from choking grasp or, or strangulation is it strangulation yeah hangman's noose let's keep looking see if there's anything else doesn't look like it so hangman's noose yep take that because i want all the new stuff ice storm extremely good but we're going to be obviously focusing on the uh fire and shock for these spells so we'll just uh kind of ignore the frost for now anything else i don't think we can sell anything to you i've it's already looked pleasure. oh thank you how nice okie dokie next person finished guester you're the there most. There are few places where one can pursue my type of work without fear of persecution. You are the person so I'm most looking forward to see. Arts. Because I really hope we can get some good stuff from you. So banish Daedra. Weaker summon Daedra sent back to Oblivion. Yes, get that. Uh, bound Battle Axe. We won't be using that. Bound Bow. We won't be using that, I would say. Bound Quiver. Creates a magic quiver for... 120 seconds what is that i've got no idea what that is we'll come back to it and see if we've got enough gold by the end of this but i've got no idea what that is can drown can draw flame atronarch can draw foul zombie so yeah i'm guessing that's a more powerful zombie can draw frost atronarch can draw haunting spirit summons a haunting spirit for 60 seconds when killed the spirit steals 10 points from the skills of its killer and transfers them to the caster for a short time oh my gosh okie dokie uh, putrid zombie so we got putrid zombie and foul zombie so putrid zombie is more expensive I'm guessing that's the next uh, the next level up and then we've got conjure skeleton champion summons a skeleton champion that gains plus 10% attack damage for each nearby enemy up to 5 for 60 seconds so a chance to get 50% extra attack damage my gosh okay let's do it Tomb Guardian summons a Tomb Guardian for 60 seconds. That conjures a shade when it kills an enemy. What? <laughs> we will take it. We have got so much stuff to try out. Um, conjure Revenant Reanim. Okay, no, sorry, Revenant Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. Soul Split. Sacrifice a friendly conjured or reanimated minion to summon two Sundered Shades for 60 seconds. That seems like they would be pretty useful. Like, you know, when we're conjuring the uh, Flame Atronarch and they're about to die, quickly bring this out and then we get two shades. And I, I doubt it would cost much because it wouldn't be useful if it did cost much. So hopefully it doesn't. We've got Soul Trap. I don't usually go the Ray Zombie pathway. I usually just conjure things. Um, let's go conjure Putrid Zombie, see how it goes. We already got this. We didn't get Frost Atronarch, I'm pretty sure. Uh, did I buy a Frost Atronarch or did I just get caught up with all the new stuff? I don't think I did, so we'll buy Frost Atronarch. If we already have Frost Atronarch, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> and we'll get Bound Quiver, because I'm not sure what that is. Boy, oh boy, is it lucky that we came here with as much gold as we did. Me. There was a lot of times I was contemplating coming here early and just being like oh we'll be fine you know just get some stuff you know we got enough money we definitely would not have had enough money uh, <laughs> very very lucky that uh we that we uh left it for so long because we would not have been able to buy anywhere near as much as what i wanted to search chest what's in here gold we'll take every bit of gold we can get because we are running out quick Enchanting um services. 
Can I take these? Yes, I can. I ran past this the other day and I was like wondering, can I actually take everything in here for free? And I'm so glad the answer is yes. These guys will buy potions actually, won't they? They will buy potions, won't they? Certainly a few of my What have you got for sale? You'll buy Oh, they won't buy potions. That's like the one thing that would be so good if they bought it. Is there an alchemist here that I'm not thinking of? I thought for sure they would buy potions, because if they bought potions, this would be made so much easier. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can find any of the other uh, lecturers slash teachers upstairs. Sergius Tyrannius. The local Nords may not like us very much, but they don't seem to mind having access to enchanted weapons and armor. Until next I was going to ask him some stuff, but we'll, we'll do that at a later date. Colette. Ah, here we go. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of Yes, magic. I and know. Don't tell you what what have you got for sale? Take a look. I'll take a look. I don't think she'll have much for us, no. Because our restoration is still really, really low. Until next time. Unfortunately, it's just how it is. It's so hard to level. Um. Hmm. If we... Why? Hang on Once a second. Again, I have found I'd like, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry that you're experiencing effects. this. Yes, it's Super no good. Barbaric. Very bad, very barbaric. I like training in restoration magic. I'd gladly share my knowledge How expensive is this going to be? Too expensive. I really want to get some stuff from Tolfdeer. So let's go find Tolfdeer. Oh, man. This is... We came here with 20,000 gold septums. We haven't even done all the buying that I intend on us doing. And we are down to uh, 3,000 and something. Which is not good. It's very, it's very uh, not good at good all. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Because I was hoping to try and get some training Spells as well. and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Hopefully I've got some new stuff here. So detect life. Oh man. This is a good one for leveling alteration. A really good one. So, oh, jeez. This is a new one. Cast on a nearby surface. It explodes when enemies are nearby, immobilizing them for eight seconds. Holy dooly, yes. Telekinesis releases suspended telekinesis arrows. What? Can pull any object to a distance, add it to your inventory, or throw it, and releases suspended telekinesis arrows. Got no idea what that is. Let's take it. We are basically out of money, and detect life, take it. Iron flesh, oh, take it. And water breathing, I don't think we need that. We got something to do with that from illusion anyway, so that should be fine. My gosh, came here with 20,000 septums. Leaving with 781 septums and not even achieving everything I wanted to achieve. I wanted to buy some levels in destruction and stuff. My gosh, this is insane. Oh, mm -hmm. Can I even pickpocket the gold back off you? No, I can't. Oh, man. This isn't good. This is, Do you buy... Oh, we need to find someone with a lot of money who buys potions. That's going to be like... Okay, yeah, I thought so. This is my room in this place. Maybe I've got a room in both places. Oh, well. I'm not complaining. I'll take everything from both. Uh, what is this book? Azura in the box. Let's head upstairs. See if there's, like, our own little enchanting get-up up here that I can steal. Well, not steal, but borrow stuff from. Can't take anything from here. Can't take anything from there. Just food. Okay, we'll take the food. Yep, 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 yep. And we'll leave the carrots. I can't be bothered. Take the apples, the bread, and the... Yeah, that's everything. And, yeah, there's nothing up here that we can use. Okie dokie. Arnie, I'll gain. We'll come back to you I'm later. Some very yes, research. yes. I'm, I, I believe you. Don't worry. Oh, golly gosh. Okay. Absolutely no money. But let's do this, because this is going to be satisfying. So, Banished Aedra, we're just going to machine gun it through. Bang, 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 Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's test some of these out, actually, right now. 
because I've got no idea what half of them are. So we'll go... Uh, ha summons a haunting spirit for 60 seconds when killed. It splits. Okay, so let's see what this is. Wow, that's an attractive haunting spirit. And let's go... We already know what Frost Archonarch is. Uh, Putrid Zombie. I'm going to guess you're like a more powerful regular zombie. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what the case is. Because it's Adept and what was the original one we had? It was just Conjure Zombie. So, Conjure Putrid Zombie, Conjure Zombie, Novice. Yeah, you take more. Yeah. So, you're slightly more powerful. Um, next one, Skeleton Champion. I feel like I know what this is. I feel like I know what it is. Okay, it's not what I thought it was, but this is still pretty cool. <laughs> man, oh man. Alright. Alright, I like it. And the best thing is, a lot of these actually aren't... I mean, they're not taking up much Magicka. Jeez, he could get so powerful, though. Summons a skeleton champion that gains plus 10% attack damage for every for each nearby enemy up to 5 for 60 seconds. Like, he could be so, so powerful. Skeleton minion, we already know that. Tomb guardian. So, summons a tomb guardian for 60 seconds that conjures a shade when it kills an enemy. So, every enemy it kills it conjures another shade. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'm going to use all of these, 100%. Um, Undying Ghost, we know that. Soul Split. So, sacrifice a friendly conjured or reanimated minion to summon two Sundered Shades. Okay, do I have to cast that on him? Or do I just cast that anywhere and it'll get rid of him? Nah, maybe I've got to cast it on him. And yeah. And I get two Shades for it. Or one Shade. thought it was two. Or maybe they're like inside each other. Oh well. Yeah, it says summon two. Oh well. Um, heck yeah. Okay, we're a uh, haunting spirit. I already conjured that. Heck yeah. Okay, we are looking pretty dang good. We're looking, we're looking like we're sitting pretty nicely. So we'll unfavorite that. Favorite that. Unfavorite that. Favorite that. Um. And illusion. Here we go. So we will unfavorite that. Favorite that because I reckon that can be used. We will unfavorite that. We'll favorite that because that can be used. I can't imagine us using this all too often, but it's still cool. Uh, we'll favorite that. We'll favorite that. And we'll favorite that. I'm going to have to redo some of my things here. I can see alteration. Detect life. We'll favorite that. Iron flesh. We'll favorite that. Get rid of stone flesh. Paralysis rune. We're definitely going to favorite that because I think I'm going to... I think I can definitely see see myself using that a lot. Um, and then we just got the pet and transmute. So, okay, so we've, we've seen everything. This is looking pretty cool. Now, if I come over here, are you going to like start moving and then I'm going to see two of you? Yeah, I thought so. So there is two of them. Man, oh man. I feel like we are going to be pretty dang powerful. Okay, that chiming is going to annoy me. So we're going to... We're going to conjure a frost archer because that's one thing we didn't. That's one thing we didn't conjure. Probably the wrong thing to conjure in a small place like this, but it's all good. We'll live with it. To the Arcanium. And yep, already regretting conjuring you. JK, we got straight past you. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm coming up here because I'm pretty sure you've got some. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? We are clear. So I'm Hundreds just wondering. Of have gone into okay. This collection. Yep. It's going to stay pristine. Uh -huh. Understand? Yes. I want to see. I have a few things laying around. Yeah. That yep. worth adding to the collection. Thank you, you very for much for that. I'm just thinking if he's got stuff like if he maybe he has skill books, and I mean if that gives us a level instead of paying for the trainers then that would be better but he doesn't have any school books at all he just has regular books wow that's quite underwhelming i've got to say do we have anything that we can yeah we'll sell him that and yeah we'll keep that because i want to put that in my little thing at home uh okay quite underwhelming you were <clears throat> completely useless for the purpose that i thought you were going to be good for sauron's journal 
Telekinesis, arrows, research notes, telekinesis... Oh, wow, it's for free right here. Telekinesis, arrows, research notes. That is just super infuriating. But that is the one thing I didn't uh, look at was telekinesis. Isn't that supposed to be here? Maybe we have to read about it. Okay. So we'll take another, we'll take that. Telekinesis arrows, research notes. This spell time will re will teach its reader a unique art of the telekinesis arrow, giving both a lesser power and the knowledge to craft these special arrows. Upon firing the arrow, one will find it to be suspended, frozen in the air until the telekinesis arrow, lesser power, is cast, upon which the volley will be released. Okay. So did I not learn that? pretty sure I learned all... Oh, I guess I didn't. Okay, no, no, that's the one I just picked up. So, that's alteration, right? Where is telekinesis arrows? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. We'll figure out later, I guess. But I'm just remembering now, I didn't look at conjure quiver. Wherever that is. And that's not here either. What? Uh, what? I've got no idea what's happening. I'm going to have to... Maybe they're here? Maybe they're in powers? There we go. Bound quiver. Okay. Creates a magic quiver for 120 seconds. Telekinesis arrows releases suspended arrows. Uh, let's do this. So if I do that... Oh, okay. So it actually gives me a quiver. And then I can use a bow. If I've got a bow equipped, I'm assuming. And we'll use those arrows. So, do I have a bow? No, I don't. Yeah, okay, cool. And let's go telekinesis arrows. Wow. <laughs> I got no idea. I can guess at how I'm supposed to use them, but I've also got no idea how to use them. Oh, we'll leave it for now. Sauron's journal. I don't think I've ever seen this here. What is this? Started creature of legend journal of Sauron Harrickson wildlife scholar find oh I just spoiled it for myself find and tame the unicorn what the heck in my duty to document all living creatures in Skyrim the long lost unicorn has never been far from my mind it is said that long ago the very last of its kind was sacrificed to her scene however rumors of sightings in Tamriel have surfaced in recent times. Indeed, while these claims echo mostly from the taverns in the late hours, one can wonder at the validity of such claims. I've, chron I've chronicled, yeah, I've chronicled the habits of mud crabs and rabbits long enough. This old man is quite ready for something a little more interesting. I've spoken with several hunters who swear by the divines that they have seen a unicorn during their travels. All have tried to approach it for a closer look or take it as a prize, but it has, it has evaded them all. I continue my research with skepticism, but if this is indeed true, how could this be? Was the last unicorn not truly the last, or is some other force at work? While studying the mating habits of salmon, it is certainly enlightening. I have become quite obsessed with my pursuit of the elusive unicorn. I spoke with a hostler who said that during one of his horse taming expeditions, he too saw something that closely resembled the fabled unicorn, though he was unsure. He is a man... He is a man, is of great integrity, so I took his word in good faith. I decided to. I decided then to speak with Tolfdeer at the College of Winterhold, being a wise man with deep knowledge of such things. I hoped he might have some insight. I was correct in my assumption. According to Tolfdeer, the Sigic Order have appeared from time to time throughout history to assist with situations they believe are extremely important. While he cannot personally say for certain, he believes... They may have intervened after the last unicorn was sacrificed, transporting another through time in order to set right what they believed was a wrongdoing. I am more motivated than ever to see this creature with my own two eyes. The last sighting of the unicorn was rumored to be in a dense forest area near Riften. As old as I am, an energy filled, an energy filled with my bones that I haven't felt with, I haven't felt since I was a young man. I hiked up the ridge of the mountains there and set up a very small camp i was cautious to not set any fires or make much noise lest i scare it away after waiting two nights through this morning's early fog i finally saw the majestic creature for the first time i still cannot believe my own two eyes it lingered long enough for me to see it clearly this brilliant coat 
and distinct horn shimmering in the morning light. I watched its movements for nearly 30 minutes, enough time to draw enough depiction for my library. This is, at the, this is absolutely the crowning achievement of my scholarly life. I've decided to turn this information over to the College of Winterhold rather than publish it to the general population. I would like to ensure this creature remain protected and I believe they are the most capable of such a task. Wowza, what a big book talking about a unicorn. Can I take that? Yeah, I'm going to take that. Oh man, wow. So, uh, what is the quest for that exactly? Creature of the wild, find and tame the unicorn. So I can ride around on a unicorn. I've seen things in the Creation Club where you can get like wild horses and I even saw like a deer and stuff, but I didn't know I could find and tame a unicorn. Wow. I wonder what its stats are, if they're any better than the regular horses or something. Okay, I'm going to have to do some research, I guess. So, oh boy, we have done a fair bit Wow, so just to recap on this episode and going over it in my own mind, we found the second piece of the Ethereum Shard. We went to Rhyme Rock Barrow and collected the Rueful Axe. Wow, that felt like that was a while ago now, to be honest. We went to Solitude. We did the Grey Cow quest, which is now taking us back to Riften, I believe. I believe let's go to the world map. The Grey Cow quest. Is that taking us? No, it's not taking us back to Riften. What's this here? Ah, uh, that's the Court Wizard thing. The Grey Cow is taking us here, and the White File is taking us there, and I believe somewhere around here is, I think it's Rolbathar or something, or I think it's around here. So these are all very, very close by, so that could be something we could look at doing um, in the next episode. And yeah, then we caught the carriage to Winterhold. Bought a bunch more spells. Didn't get to do exactly what I wanted to do, which was also buy training and destruction and restoration. But if you have a look at the money, we came here with 20,000 septums. We now have 700. Those spell books were quite expensive and we just cannot afford it. We need to find people who have lots of money who will buy potions off of us. Hello, Ilya, just standing right there in front of me. Holy dooly. Well, we have done a lot. But in any case... Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below that you believe could help me or any recommendations, anything at all. But most of all, please have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.